So no, knowledge is not power, but I do know what is. And in this video, I'm going to help you to take your power and control over your life so that you can really start to get happy, live longer, grow younger and be healthy. Hi, my name is Christine L. Conroy. Welcome to Happy Stuff and Fluff, a channel for women who are getting happy, living longer and growing younger. And this is part of the Positive Aging series. Now, I say that, but when I think about it, the whole of my channel from day one has been about positive aging. But now, now the research I'm doing on longevity is just I mean, I'm beside myself with a lot of things that I'm discovering and things that we were talking about or I was talking about as a kind of ideal five years ago. Now, science is showing us the way and it's becoming possible. And no, I'm not just talking about the extremely wealthy, although that is happening and I will talk about that. But no, I'm talking about the things that we can do, the average person if there's such a thing, but you know what I mean, that we can do to help ourselves to get happy, live longer and grow younger. Um, and I'm just, like I say, I'm beside myself. Um, some of the things I'm reading, I just, it takes my breath away. Um, but of course, I don't then just, I have to do more research and see uh, before I bring it to you. And so, um, what is power then, it's knowledge plus action is power. Knowledge plus action. It's no use knowing that you need to do something, um, but not doing it. So we all know we need to exercise, we all know we need to ha eat healthily, but we just don't do it. That's not going to help. It's a simple thing to say, uh, but it's not easy to put a lot of these things into practice and to action. I know that, which is why I'm delighted that a lot of the things that I'm talking about are not difficult things. They are things that we can all do. OK, so let's get on with the video, um, because a question I'm often asked, you know, is, uh, Christine, do you actually walk the talk? Um, you know, I, I talk about lots of things and um, on this channel and people want to know if I take, I suppose, if I listen to my own <laughs> uh, knowledge and take action. And the answer is yes, categorically, yes. Um, if you've been with me a while, you know that. I never suggest anything to you that I either haven't done myself, I'm about to do myself, and I always tell you which one it is. I'm in this 100%. This longevity thing is happening and I'm in it. I am so in it, um, but I'm not talking about, you know, um, the fountain of youth or the holy grail in that sense. As I say, I'm talking about us being able to live longer and grow younger, but be healthy and fit as well, which of course is m most important. So in terms of um, me walking the talk, I just wanted to show you uh, the first video I think it, uh, I did on helping you to balance your circadian rhythms, the first video in terms of positive aging. I talked about breathing in the morning, about things you can do in the morning when you wake up that will not only set you up for the day, but help you to sleep the following night. So this is a film I wanted to show you. Now, the first film, you must uh, excuse the quality of the film, it is in my bedroom. It was dark. Uh, I had just woken up, so forgive the state of me too. Um, but here I am. Now, the breathing aspect, if you didn't see the video, I'll leave the link down below. But the first part of it was the breathing. It's a lovely transition, actually, between um, when you wake up and then actually getting up to start your day. This breathing is a nice transition. For me, however, not so much the drinking water. You know I struggle with drinking as much water as we're supposed to drink. This is one of those things. I know I'm supposed to do it. It is an easy thing or a simple thing to do. Of course it is. How difficult can it be? Yet actually drinking water, um, I find uh, not so simple. However, for such a simple, easy thing to be something that gives you so much benefit, I am persisting. I am persisting with drinking the water in the morning. I'm not up to drinking 15 ounces yet, 
but I'm doing more and more each day. This is the key. <laughs> because the next part of this film, um, let me show you this. Uh, the next part of the film was talking about going outside um, to get the light into your eyes that will tell your circadian rhythm, okay, it's time to stop producing melatonin, which will help me to sleep, um, and to start waking my body up ready for the day. And light in your eyes is what does that. So as you can see here, I am not outside. I'll tell you why. Uh, well, we're fortunate enough to, to have a barn door, a Dutch door, if you, you call it, not quite sure of the exact term, uh, that leads out onto a balcony. And I'm obviously just open the top of the door and I'm standing there half in, half out, because it was particularly cold that day and very windy. And yes, I am human. I wasn't going to stand outside for 15 minutes in the freezing cold. But this is what I want to say to you. Adapt these things to suit your own lifestyle. I mean, you could live on a, 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 an apartment on a 30th floor of an apartment block. Um, what do you do? You won't be standing at your back door. Um, but you can stand in front of the window. You know, you can adapt these things to suit your lifestyle. And that's what I want you to do. If there are things I say to you and you, your first thought is, well, I can't then instead think, how can I adapt that and get some benefit from it? I guess that's what I'm, I'm suggesting that you do. So yes, uh, I wanted to show you that just to show you if you were in any doubt that I do in fact walk the talk and I am into this positive ageing 100%. Okay, so it's a very special day today because apparently tonight in the UK, we're going to be able to see the Northern Lights, uh, which you can't usually see, but I believe they've come out for a reason because it is a special day and they've come out to help me celebrate. It's my birthday, it's my birthday. I'm 65 years old today and no, those words do not compute. Um, <laughs> I've told you before, I may be 65 on the outside and 35 on the inside, and that's where I'm staying. So, yes, it is my birthday. And uh, oddly enough, the post lady's just been and she's brought quite a few birthday cards, which I'm overjoyed about. Um, a little bit more than she delivered Valentine's Day cards, let's put it that way. Um, and oddly enough, just as an aside, when I was talking to her, and said, you must have uh, forgotten a sack that must be in the back of your van for me. And she went, no, I'm sure I haven't missed anything. I said, are you certain there isn't a sack of Valentine's Day cards for me? And of course she started to laugh. No, unfortunately there isn't. And she said, and not only that, she said, I haven't delivered one. The post lady had not delivered one. And she said, apparently people are not sending Valentine's Day cards anymore, which I think is quite sad. However... Anywho, they are sending birthday cards, so um, I'm not. I'm, I haven't opened them yet, um, so I can't thank you if you sent me one. Um, but I will be opening them soon. Many of you have sent me messages already, so thank you so much for that. So as the giveaway, uh, I'll put the link to the video down below. Um, I know it isn't a sexy video, a sexy giveaway. Sorry, um, I think it confused a few people that I'd said it was a sexy giveaway but it is life-saving an omicron blood pressure monitor could actually save your life it wasn't clickbait um i discovered my blood pressure was high interesting things happening there too which i'll be telling you about down the line however um quite a few of you told me you already had one uh, which is great. You're ahead of me on this one. Uh, one or two others tried to buy it. And if you're in the US, apparently Amazon US um, ran out of stock on them. Um, but you don't need to get the Omicron. You could get uh, you could get a different one. I do implore that you get one though. Um, not to obsess over your blood pressure, but to keep it in check. We need to keep your blood pressure in check. As I say, I'll leave the link to that video. Anyway, drum roll, please. Terrell, Terrell, you have won the um, uh, the heart rate, sorry, blood pressure monitor. Drop me an email and we'll sort out um, getting that to you. Okay, honestly, I'm telling you, I, we are lucky to be 
here at the time that we are in terms of um, what's happening from a scientific point of view um, and things that we're finding out about about things that are going to help disease, not just about living longer, but about helping disease and uh, about, you know, some are saying not just slowing down the aging process, but reversing it. But as I've said to you, I'm, I'm not really talking about um, the fountain of youth or any holy grail in that sense. I'm talking about living longer lives, free from disease, being healthy, fit and happy. I want you to be in it with me and taking the action. Oh, okay. Um, right, okay, I'll leave it there and uh, I'll see you next time. And I've got something, something that by then I hope I've sorted out that I'll be able to tell you that's exciting too for you as well as for me. Um, I'll see you then. Until then, remember, on the happy stuff and fluff, we are getting happy. We are living longer and we are growing younger. See you next time. Bye-bye.